Big promises from the government. Jobs, jobs, jobs. The federal government chipping in a million dollars into a feasibility study into clean hydrogen at Middle Arm on Darwin Harbour, a joint study between industry and the CSIRO. This INPEX-led study has the potential to secure a clean energy future for the Northern Territory. Middle Arm is one of nine proposed hydrogen hubs around the country with studies funded. Some, like in WA's Pilbara, are already moving into implementation. The federal government put $1.5 billion into the project in this year's budget. Freedom of information documents requested by the NT Environment Centre and obtained by the ABC show how the Territory secured the funds. Specifically, we see that the jetties, wharves and the dredging that will occur, that the public is funding, is for uh, the gas industry and nothing else. This presentation, given to the Federal Infrastructure Department, gives a breakdown of the site, including potential hydrogen plants, carbon catcher and storage, and it shows Tamboran Gas, the major player in Beetaloo fracking, is a potential anchor tenant. Essentially, this precinct will be about gas. It will be about hydrogen using gas as a feedstock. Uh, they're gas companies, and that's the industry that they want to promote. It is not a predominantly gas facility. Is it a sustainable precinct so that we can have jobs? After the government scrubbed the word petrochemical from its language around Middle Arm last year, just how green this sustainable development hub will be remains to be seen. The report is due by December of next year. Robert Baird, ABC News.